Hi everyone and welcome to my channel again. I hope you are doing well and in today's video we are going to make a microservice with Python, Flask and Docker. I hope you enjoy it and let's do it. So okay, first of all we need to check the version that we are using. In this case I'm using Python 3.8.5, pip 20.2, virtualenv 20.0.28. So let's create a virtual environment. For this, we need the command virtual env minus p with Python 3 and the name of the virtual environment. As you can see, it is created right now. It is right here. Let's now change to that virtual environment. And the command to do that is this one. As you can see, I'm right now in the virtual environment that I created. And right here, let's install Flask. It's installed. And let's freeze all our dependencies. As you can see, all the dependencies that I need for this project are right here. Flask installed all the other dependencies. And let's create our first app.py. We are going to import all this stuff from Flask. And let's create our application. So as you can see, first of all, we need to create our application and we need to start our server. In this case, we need a port and we need a host. Right now we are using the local host and the port 3200. The way to run the, the server is like this. And let's run it. As you can see, it is working. So, Okay. Then we need a structure. In this case, we have a JSON with some other tag inside. And we are going to use this structure to, to get from the API that we are going to create. So first of all, we need to create a route. In this case, it's only slash, and we are going to return a small HTML code. As you can see, I'm returning it as a, a text. I'm defining the, the, the function and I'm returning it. Let's run it. It is working. Check. And right there, it is working. So we have our first endpoint that is bringing us the web page or uh, uh, HTML code. So next thing we are going to do is to make a get for template. An HTML template that we are going to create right now. We need to put it in the templates folder and Flask will be searching in that folder to get the templates. If you don't put it inside templates, it will not find the file. So, so let's run it. And let's run it with no daemon and the app. As you can see, I used no daemon with the file. So in this case, each time I save something in the code, it will restart our server or our code. So let's make a request for temp and there are my template and there are the home. So next thing we need to do is we are going to make a query string and we are going to only return the query string JSON. As you can see, I'm asking for the args 
that are in the request. And I'm doing a for for the for the arguments that are in the query string. And I'm returning the response with a 200. If there is no query string, I'm returning a, an error. In this case, there is no query string. So we're returning the 400. So the E first check if there are arguments in the request, and then we make a for to loop inside the items. And then we are creating the JSON and returning the JSON. There is the error if there is no query string, and that's all. Let's check if it works. We are going to use Postman in this case. OK, there is no query string. Let's create a query string. OK. So it is working right now. We have all our query params right there. And we have the response right here. So next thing we need to do is to return the whole JSON that I created. So let's make this function. As you can see, I'm only returning the info that is or a structure that I paste on top. And that's all, this one. OK, so let's save it and let's run it. JSON. And there you have, this is our JSON file. We are getting from the, from the microservice. Let's create another route. In this case, it will be JSON, but we are going to get a a specific collection with a specific member. So we are going to check inside the JSON to get the, the information. So first, we are checking if there is info. Let's get from that JSON the member. And if there is a member, let's return the result. Okay, if there is no member, let's return an error. And if there is no collection, let's return uh, an error too. So that's all. Let's duplicate this. And we need to bring clouds and a specific the IBM. As you can see, I'm receiving the information inside this tag. If I change, there is no member with that. And if I change this, there is no collation with S. So it's working. Let's change. Now we have the Amazon Web Service. So next thing we are going to do is to create a post method. In this case, it's the same thing, just with another member in the function that is methods. In this case, it's post. And we are going to define a function to put information inside our JSON. First of all, we need to get the JSON from the request. As you can see, request is part of Flask. And then I'm searching inside our JSON if the collection exists. If it exists, we are going to return an error. And if it doesn't exist, we are going to update the collection. So, so the collection, we are going to get it from the URL and the rec we are going to get from the request, from the body request. And just return the message that we created a new collection. Let's try it. Okay. Okay, let's set a body and just put 
some information right here. Remember that the collection will take from the URL. So the collection was created. And right now it is exist, so it, it returns an error. There is our collection, cars. Let's check. And there you have, it is working right now. We are putting information inside our JSON, as you can see. Now we are going to edit information. So it's the same thing, only we need to pass another member in the URL and set the method as put. And of course, receive a member from the URL. The same thing right here. Only if the collection exists, we need to check if member exists and then make the update for that member. Remember, we need the rec from the body of the request. And let's only return the collection. So the if if collection exists in info, if member exists or if we have member in the request, and then set the request inside the collection, and that's all. Let's make another error message. Okay. Okay. Let's try it. Okay, now it's a put and we need to pass the collection and the member. The collection is created, so we can modify this one. As you can see, I'm going to modify the F member. So I need to pass, remember, I asked for new right here. So I need to pass new and then the other. So we have the collection and the member. And it's working. As you can see, F is right now Ford. And right here, we have Ford and Ford. As you can see, it is working. So next thing, we are going to delete something from our collection. So we are going to use the method delete. And we are going to check if the collection exists in our JSON and then delete the collection. Then only we need to return a response. In this case, I'm returning all the JSON. And let's return an error if the collection is, is not in our JSON. Check, let's create this collection. It's created. So let's delete. Remember, it's a delete method. We need to pass the JSON and the, the collection that we want to delete. And there is, we don't have the collection. So if I create again, there is the collection. And let's delete. And it disappears. We delete the collection. So that's all. We have right now all our endpoints. And it is working. We have the delete the put, we have the post, we have the get methods, and our information. So right now, let's create a Docker file. And let's bring Python from Alpine. Remember Python from Alpine. Alpine is a little distro, and it was it works fine for Docker containers. Now we are going to create a folder app. Then we need to add all the stuff into that folder. 
then we need to run pip install and for this we are going to use the requirements.txt that we created with the freeze as you remember okay so we are installing this and let's run it with python okay that's all for the docker file so let's clear this and let's build our docker image okay remember we are using docker build minus t for the name of the image and the dot is for all it's downloading all the stuff that we need okay it's finished let's check our images it's right here so let's run it okay okay So we are going to run with Python test. This is the port that we are going to use, the port that we specified right here. And the port that we are accessing. So the name of the container and my minus IT is to run it in the console. As you can see right now it's working. Let's check it out. Okay, it's working. So let's try it. It's working. Let's try it another URL. It's working. So we have our microservice working right now in a container. Let's check our Docker. It's right here, our container. Let's remove it. That's all. Let's run it again, but in the background, it's working. Let's check it out. It's right there. It's running right now. As you can see, it's right here. Here we have some information and the logs. let's stop the container and right now it's not working because it is stopped let's run it again and it is working right now so that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about some subject comment it in the section below the video so that's all from my side i hope you enjoyed it and see you soon bye bye